Hello again. So, today I was going to tie a lake fly for you guys and a really good top or middle dropper fly option and it's a Kate McLaren. So I'm going to tie, it's not a very traditional one because it's using a yellow glow bright tail but it's a really good substitute for the uh, golden pheasant crest that's normally in the tail of this fly. So, very easy to tie as always. So we've got a glow bright tail I normally tie silver wire, but I'm stuck in self-isolation and I can't find any. And I don't have any silver tinsel, so I'm using silver flash there, which will be our rib. Then we've got black seals for body. Very simple. I know it's a bit of a painted dub seals fur, but look, it's a really nice material for the body. And if you do need to grease this fly up and fish it high in the water, it helps with the buoyancy. You don't want to dress this body too thickly because the hackle is really going to help. Um, is really where the bulk of this fly is. So you don't need to overdo the body. Make sure you give yourself room at the front as well so you can tie both your hackles in. So we'll go a black cock hackle to tie back through. This is going to be our palmed hackle going back. So we'll go... You know, you can dress this, depending on how you want to fish it and the conditions you're going to fish it in, you can dress it very heavily, or you can um, just make it kind of just a nice, typical palmer. But it's totally up to you. If you're going to be fishing in a lot of rough, windy conditions, then I would encourage you to palmer it and really heavily hackle it. For just your everyday fishing, something like this would probably be fine. Now let's see how this flash goes for the uh, for the rib. Just through like that will be perfect. And then the hackle we're going at the front is, oh, so I've knocked everything everywhere. We're just going to put a, um, a brown hen hackle through this. You can put a cock, you can really do whatever you like with it. Um, I've just got a brown hen hackle that I'm going to put around the front of this one here like so. Might tilt that to make it easier to tie off. But look, this fly, I really like it in Tasmania, Victoria, particularly in fisheries which have a lot of small wild brown trout. It's a really nice fly. But it's just a nice small fly option to fish. If you fish a lot of streamers, you can fish on your top dropper or on your middle dropper if you're fishing in Tasmania just gives the fish a small fly option. It's a nice, very consistent, super, uh, well it's a very old fly. Um, it's been around for yonks. And it just catches fish, so it's very reliable. It's a very safe option to tie on. We'll just tie off at the front there. And he's pretty nice. When that's wet, that hackle will sweep back and fish quite nicely. Super easy fly to tie. Look, give it a go. Um, and I'll be tying more streamers and wet flies and nymphs and everything with you guys shortly. So, thank you and happy self-isolating. <laughs>